Hello, my name is Terry Harrison. We're going to start with a Caribbean beach scene. I've already drawn the scene up and I've put some masking fluid on some of the important bits. So we're going to start with the sky. Large brush, this is the golden leaf brush, clean water. And I'm going to wet the sky area first before I put the paint on. So just quickly wet the sky. So don't have any standing water and the paper is attached at the top with masking tape and as the water makes the paper expand it starts to lift just let it expand then with some tape pull the paper down and stick it to your board right into the sky so mix up some colour with the golden leaf brush. Some cobalt blue. Start at the top of the sky, paint horizontally across the paper, backwards and forwards. As the brush travels down the paper, the colour is being diluted by the water on the paper. So it's lighter at the horizon than at the top of the sky. Then, with some kitchen towel, this is going to be a very, very simple sky. We just remove some of the clouds with a pad of kitchen towel and just pat over the surface and it removes the paint from the paper. So nothing too complicated, just a line of clouds across the, the painting. And that's all you have to do for the sky. When the sky has dried off, we then put the trees at the back of the bay. We're going to use the foliage brush and a bluey green. Some green, this is uh, sunlit green and cobalt blue. Now, you bash the brush into the palette so it opens the brush up. And if it's a little bit too wet, just remove some of the paint from the brush like that. Use a piece of paper as a mask and you stipple along the edge of the paper. So, light colour first, a little bit more blue. Up and over this uh, sail ship, some more trees there. This is country olive. Again, I'm going to mix it with just a touch of blue, so it's a, a darker colour along the edge of the paper. Darker on one side of the tree, bring that a long mask off the, the tin roof, up. Change the colour slightly, this is uh, some raw sienna mixed in with the, with the green. Go right out to the very edge, and while that's still wet, use a darker green. This is midnight green, plenty of colour on the brush so it's quite dark. I can drop that colour into the wet and it just softly blends into the first colour. So that's the, the background painted in, wash the brush out, and while that's drying, start to paint in the beach. So for the beach, I'm going to use the large detail brush, some raw sienna, water it down so it's fairly pale. Bring that down to the water's edge, a little bit stronger as it get, gets closer to us, and up to the boat. Just take that actually into the water. Stronger still, underneath the boat. Up the beach towards the, the hut, so it's very, very pale. And down to the bottom of the painting. And while that's still wet, you drop in a touch of burnt sienna. Just in the foreground. Wet into wet. So it mixes with the raw sienna texture on the beach. Then we let the beach dry. The next part of the painting is the beach hut. So we're going to start with the tin roof. I'm going to paint in some uh, burnt sienna. Nice rusty coloured tin roof with the 
medium detail brush. So paint that in first with just one colour. And while this is still wet, I'm going to use some cobalt blue and just touch that into the wet, just in places, not everywhere, and just let that bleed into the first colour. So with that dark colour, just pop that underneath the uh, canopy on the veranda. And then some raw sienna with a little touch of cobalt blue, so it's just a muddy colour and we paint that over the front of the building. So up to the top of the, uh, the front of the shack. So just finish off the uh, front of the building. Then we move on to the large detail brush and we're going to start with burnt umber. Paint in over the windows and the shutters. comes down to the boat, use the colour shadow, just drop that into the wet, like that, and just bring that down. I'm not trying to mix this too carefully, so I get a very mottled, rustic look. So, when the building has dried off. We put the detail in with ultramarine and burnt umber, so it's a nice dark colour, and put some colour on the underside of that roof there, and the weatherboards paint in with the half rigger. And on the side there, change to the medium detail brush, same dark colour, ultramarine burnt umber and just paint in the, the doorway. Window on the uh, shady side of the, the shack and just a hint of some shutters. Move back to the half rigger. Some more detail on the in the woodwork. While we're at it, just put a little bit of detail onto the, uh, the tin roof. Right, the next bit is the, uh, is the sea. So we're going to use the large detail brush and a colour called Cobalt Turquoise Green Shade. So it's fairly light, just mix it straight onto the, the palette and start to paint in the sea, just leaving a little gap along the um, far distant shore, bring that forward like that, then down. We then paint over the raw sienna and that colour starts to shine through underneath the blue glaze. And as the water comes forward to the, the beach, so we just bring that down to the corner, just bring that onto the beach a little bit so we've got the Caribbean Sea lapping onto the lovely clear beach. Of course in reality this would probably have sun umbrellas and people laying around but uh, in our painting we're just going to have it nice and deserted, how we like it. So still with some cobalt blue and a touch of green, this is midnight green and I'm just going to put a little bit of that into the wet just to make it a little bit more interesting. Bring that forward like that. Okay, so that's the, the sea. We just let that dry off. 